right, we got Mario versus Luigi now. So let's hop into it. Let's see what's going on. I like that Luigi color. It looked like it kind of looked like a neutral start there. Yeah, double aerials from Luigi. Um, those are a little bit difficult to deal with, but you can in between. Um, let's go back. So like, if you were to shield the first aerial, because they usually do um, short hop, and then at the peak of or like ascending aerial, so like down air into an air usually or back air see so in between that if you were to shield it if you were to shield the first aerial you can actually up air out of shield an air out of shield um back air out of shield and it's a it's a punish so like right here i mean you're not shielding but i'm just giving you an example in case you do get shield pressured that way it's not it's not safe but you just you just have to react accordingly right after you shield this one it's um it's it's too slow for him to um like there's too much lag because he hits your shield but you can still uh like I said up air out of shield really quick or something like that. Just make sure you're not up airing out of shield and staying right underneath him because even if you hit him he's still going to probably near you cuz he's at low percent. But that was a good fair right there. Okay, down smash, good. Pressure him at ledge. Okay, good, good. Ooh. Oh. That was a good edge guard by him, actually. He uh, he reacted to your um, down beat. What you could do next time is um, after. If you were to even go for this. I thought this was fine, but. It would have been better if he was a little bit more to the right because he barely still a uh, uh, beat and grab ledge. Like if he was anywhere right around here, it would have been better because you wouldn't have to deal with oh is he gonna grab ledge or not. He already burned his double jump, so all he had was a B right here. He got lucky though; he did grab it um, because Luigi doesn't really barely has any drift on his up B, but he still grabs the ledge right here. And then um, right here, actually, you should have probably maybe tried to cape stall. You, you get a cape stalled right here, and then you still have your double jump, and then you could have downbeat if you wanted to. Luigi still has the option to drop all the way down in back air, but he might have just, I mean, you know, uh, rolled immediately or something. But that is another option. You don't have to go straight to double jump. You could just kind of just... Until you get the timing down, spam, you know, side B or uh, Mario's cape to stop yourself. And then you can think about your options right there rather than burning your double jump right away. Because at that point, you have to do down B or cape right here. And you chose down B, but it looks like he has that familiarity of the matchup. Bam, just back here. <laughs> and he teched it too. Use your invincibility. Now he's on ledge. Good. Forward throw? Oh no. Went for the read right there. I I I see that, but there was the platform, so I'm not sure if you just messed up and you were trying to like fair or something. Um But yeah, like, at this moment, I mean you could go for down throw and then maybe a tech chase. No, he, he yeah, he he can jump out of that. So he could he's narrowing this high. So you can't tech chase, so you can you can up air for a guaranteed hit. Uh, I don't know if you can air at this percent. I'm not sure. It's so tricky because Luigi gets out so quick. But yeah, see, that's unfortunate though. If you were to just forward though right here, um, at least you know he's off stage because you were already pressuring him at the ledge right here. Seems like you want him off stage, right? Obviously, so you might as well just throw him off and try to, um you know, bear him out or wait for his approach. Because Luigi's approach is so, you know, linear. Like, the only, I guess, good approach he can do is if he's coming from really high above and he does, like, down air to try to stop any of your attempts to hit him because his down air basically beats all of Mario's moves besides maybe Mario's up air, but it'd have to be really perfect. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, that's just, that was a wasted attempt. 
Oh, up smash. You try to get the timing. I understand it. I try to get that timing too. I mean, if it hits and kills, down smash wouldn't kill. See, there's his double aerials. A little slow on the um, punish for, for that. Ooh, he, he like DI'd away. That was good. Ooh. <laughs> See, that's what I was telling you. Um, even if you were to cat counter his double aerial, he's just going to fall down on you and do an attack after you hit him. Like, <laughs> so you have to make sure to space out or if you have something as a follow-up like up tilt or something. Like right there, if you got this L cancel and then up tilt it immediately, you probably would have beat him. It Because it looks like you missed the L cancel. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, see, and then you gotta punish for that. Oh, I like the double jab. Mixed it up because you've been doing the um, gentleman. I like the spaced uh, forward or down uh, downers. I like that. That was pretty good. The down tilts to space him out. <laughs> Ooh, see, that's what I was talking about. That's the situation right there. So his somewhat decent recovery is for him to come down with his down air because it's a it's a huge hitbox. And it's really strong, so it's scary to even contest. See, like right there, you try to probably up air or something really quick, but his down air is already out. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> that was a good misfire for him, actually. I'm surprised he didn't grab you. Oh, that's... Ooh, he barely survived that. Okay, turn around. Nope. Just go for back here. I get it. it it's going to work sometimes, but... Sometimes it's fine to, especially when you're that high up, you know, you could have, um, right here, like after you straighten yourself out, or to straighten yourself out, you can throw a fireball in reverse to the right, so you at least, you know what I mean, um, <laughs> face the ledge to at least threaten that you can grab it, because when you're turned around, <laughs> you can't grab it, unless, um, like you were to cape right here. But it'd have to be a little bit below the stage so you don't get hit. But, um, I get it. You're trying to do an aggressive approach like that. But, <laughs> you hit nothing. That was funny. There's no, no one to hit there. Ooh. Oh, that force smash barely missed. What? This is, uh, the time you CC'd, but you, you crouch cancel caped? <laughs> That's interesting. I thought you were gonna down smash. Ooh. Grab ledge! Ooh! Is he dead? Oh, you should grab ledge right there. So, obviously, when Luigi doesn't have um, a jump anymore, all he has is down B and up B. So, the worst you can do is grab ledge too early and then roll up. But the best you can do is grab ledge, he up Bs, you roll, and he's dead. So either way, grabbing ledge is the thing to do. And if you can't make it to ledge, like like right there, you should be setting up for cape right here. Cape, because if cape hits, he's dead. If back air hits, there's a chance he can still survive. If cape whiffs, um, you'll get hit by forward air. Or, you know, you're at 9% though, so it's the trade-offs are better. You know, you want to go for the kill. Down, or back air is not going to do it. But you have time to set up. You set up a back air instead, which it doesn't kill right here either. See, if you if you hit him with cape right there, he was way too high too, right? Yeah, he was pretty high. So he like he ended up right there. So make sure to go for those kills instead. Don't go for comfort all the time. You got to go for, you know, for the kill moves. But you have to be comfortable with it. That that's not a true combo. It's it's tricky, but um, when he down throws you, you got to um, DI behind him. So right here, you got to DI full, fully to the right. Or else if you don't, if you no DI or slight DI to the right or a DI left in this position, um, he'll be able to actually hit you, and it's a true combo. If you DI completely to the right, um, horizontally, like no angle, um, it, he can't follow up like he gets really close, but I mean he has a quick throw right so if you're if your uh, DI isn't correct He's gonna 
hits you like that. Like, that looked like a true combo. Ooh, and he caught your double jump right there. Your double jump fireball. Oh, no, no. You just, just your double jump. That was good. I didn't expect that. But, so you should have that in mind that he'll go out there and hit you. Hit, mess up your recovery. Okay. All the things that connect right now is, like, a down throw into, like, back air. Okay. Back air works. See, that was a good back air because that, that was going to kill. And it hit him before he can grab a ledge. See? That was good. You uh, destroyed his sweet spot double jump. That was a good back air. The other one, when you stayed on stage, that was a bad back air because you just wasted a kill opportunity right there. Ooh, like the wave land? Okay. Job for his aerials. You don't want to trade too much because you're already losing. But sometimes that's all you can do in these matchups, especially with like Peach and stuff. See, that was great. You got the up tilt, you got a little combo, bear wall, I like it. Oh, that was definitely a uh, missed input right there. Oof. <laughs> Double grab always works. Wow, this guy's getting a lot of like actually life-saving misfires. That's unfortunate. Nice, snare. Okay, a little slow on the nair. That could have been a true combo and you could have got a harder hit. Because since you didn't get the harder hit, look, he stays on stage, right? Yeah. So right here, when you get that forward air, you gotta you gotta confirm. Right here, you could have double jumped, naired immediately, got the strong hit, forced him off stage, because I think he's still in rage range to grab a ledge. Yeah, see? Like, he's still clearly... Look, he's already double jumping back on. At least if you did the strong there, you would have been, like, out here. And it forced him to jump around you onto stage, which is trickier than... Look at all this space he has. You know what I mean? But this is all stage. Right here, this isn't stage. So if he messes up here, he could potentially die. Right here, he can't. He'll just get hit again. As long as it's not a strong attack, he's not going to care either. Ooh, okay, I like the back air. Ooh! Okay, so perfect opportunity. Like you did on the left side, you did a back air to destroy his double jump sweet spot. He was kind of just falling. So right here would have been a great spot to um, insert a forward tilt. Right here. Forward tilt, um, walk a little bit, because you did a wave dash, correct? Did you wave dash right there? Yeah, so you wave dashed right here and turned around. If you micro stepped like one or two steps, just one step, that's probably about the amount of time you have. Just one step, you'd be right here. Mario leans forward when he does forward tilt, and he's coming in, so it would have hit. And that's basically a death, because he doesn't. I think he used his double jump. Did he use his double jump? Or does he just fall into that? Yeah, that's his double jump. Off of that, see? Bam. Then you forward tilt right there, and bam. All he has now is down B and side B, no jump. And that's, for the most part, that's a, like a guaranteed kill because his recovery is not that great without a jump. And even with a jump, it's still limited, so not a great recovery. And this could have definitely set up for a kill right there. Give him a little bit too much respect. Ooh. <laughs> that actually almost hit. Oh, that was so risky! He did that uh, fair. Going for a lot of smash tags. I get it. Oh, he tried the same edge guard. That fireball saved your life. It just delayed it, though. Ooh. What I think is you probably hit him with the fireball, and then you're like, oh, I hit him. I'm just going to hit him again with my up B, and then I'm going to grab ledge after that. So I can be safe completely. But he double jumped, and then he got you with a down air right there. It's okay. It happens too fast sometimes. That's melee, though. Okay, let's see the next match. Oh, FD, nice. I didn't see what stage was chosen. Okay, okay. 
little neutral, little neutral, looking like Chudat versus Ben. Ooh, man, Luigi's Nair is too great. Just a lot of trades, nothing to really remark on too much. Nice, okay. Oh, he's <laughs> going for the gusto. Oh. You gotta make sure though. You, you gotta you gotta make sure on those hit confirms. You're getting as much damage as possible because this whole matchup is just neutral. You're getting trades, but if you get a guaranteed hit and you know you can follow up. Most of the time, it's better to get that damage rather than getting positioning because you don't know even if you have good positioning. Like, let's say you have center stage and he's on the ledge or whatnot, but you could have because you wanted to keep that position. Sometimes it's better to just get that damage because um, you don't know if you're going to get that kill. But if he has more percent, it's going to be easier that way, obviously. So right here, you should have just did a quick up air or... A faster confirm into Nair. Yeah, Nair could have connected for sure. Okay, nice down air. Oh, no grabs. Okay, that was, uh... What, what happened to him? What happened to his recovery? That looked pretty bad. Did he have a jump? I think he did. Oh, maybe he lost it. Like, I don't know. He did one jump. That's one jump. It's not like he can jump while doing an aerial. Yeah, I didn't hear a double. <laughs> That's weird. Or I didn't see a, another ring for his double jump. Just missed it, but... That's, okay, that's scary. You gotta take into account doing something like that. So he's 0%. You come down with uh, back air. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to be prepared for the counter attack. So right here, 9 times out of 10, Luigi's are going to be holding down. And guess what? They're going to do down smash because it's, it's a move that trades. It's fast. And most of the time, you can't even uh, punish it because it knocks you back too far or it knocks you too high depending on your percentage. Unless you're at 0 um, you're not going to be able to really counterattack that. So, you got away with murder right here, basically, because he didn't have a counterattack. Uh, but most of the time, like I said, they're going to CC and then down smash. So, if you do a back air like this, and you know what Luigi's going to do um, a CC down smash, there's two things you could do. You can, um, I wouldn't recommend rolling, because down smash hits on both sides. Um, you could shield it right away. You can sidestep it. So you get another punish. So you do the back air. And then L cancel. And then he's about to down smash you. So you you know sidestep. You He whiffs the, uh, the down smash. And then you get a grab or something like that. And you get more damage. But, um, but yeah, be careful. You can also do a hard, like even a harder read if you're going to go for that. Just do down, like uh, back air immediately full a uh, shore hop and then do um a fair so you're doing a fair after this and then down smash is whiffing underneath you because it's you know it hits low and then you get another punish because he's grounded to um grounded uh you know from the the forward air and then you get you know a grab or you could do a tilt but he's probably still cc'ing and then he'll down smash again so you could do double, <laughs> double fair, man. Like, it, this is what they do, though. But luckily, you got away, and you got a up tilt right here, and then you get a little combo sequence. Man, he's still getting aired, see? Like, you're negative on hit. His recovery is too quick. That's not enough percent to start doing up tilt, because like you just witnessed, Nair comes out way too fast. He doesn't get juggled high enough for him not to be able to counterattack. So, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe don't even do up tilts like that until you know, oh, he's actually above me. Like, he's not, he's barely, up, you know, above your uh, shoulder right here. So, that's how he counterattacks so fast. Ooh. Ooh, he almost, he tried to get you with, um... <laughs> You just grab and ledge. You can survive that. Okay. Ooh, 
we tried the aggressive approach again. Oh, no forward smash. You just went for the grab. I would have went for forward smash. Just because that's just how I play. Oh, because I would have knocked him off stage. So how do you get that there? <laughs> off of your forward tilt. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Messed up his charge on the uh, down beat. Hmm. There was a lot of missed opportunities for forward smash right here. Especially if he's giving it to you. Will a kill, you know, like right here, this is, this is perfect. You forward tilt, that's fine. But right here, you want to kill this guy. You know, you want to... If he had bad DI, a forward smash could potentially kill. He can just hold all the way left because he's drifting back or something. Forward tilt will do damage. It just won't kill. And the scaling or whatever, it's not going to be that much. Even if you do three forward smashes in a row. It's still um, better than getting forward tilt. If forward tilt was... You know, that was the only option you had because it's faster and whatnot. Okay, but this is the perfect spacing. A forward smash is going to connect on his foot. He's going to go flying. So there's one. One instance. And then here's the other one. Bam. Right when he did that aerial, he's drifting in. Same principle. Look, he drifts in. It's a little bit faster. But you can, you can kind of see him drifting in already. So you want to... Like small hands, Brian always used to say, um, he uses his forward smash like a, like a bomb or a mine, like for his opponents to kind of land on. So right here, it could have been used as an anti-air, you know, throw it right there, angle it upward. If you're good at that, that's better. It just um, gets less distance horizontally because you're angling it up. But it it's a better anti-air if you angle it up. Um, at, like to covering that 45 degree angle but yeah see that would have been another attempt right there that's always tricky um luigi down b it's so fast like if you're not if you're not ready for that you're just gonna get hit by that all day it happens to me all the time because it's not like i play um luigi's every day so i always forget oh yeah down b is an option and they bust it out on me and i'm like ah okay it's kind of like getting hit by Fox or Falco side B. It's just so quick. Like on net play, it's just impossible. You can't react to that most of the time. You're just getting hit by it and like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you got oh, see, that was good. You finally got it. Like a, just a quick, easy punish like that. You just down throw um, up air immediately. Good, good. How are you going to get this kill? Ooh, you went for four tilt again? Forward smash. Ah, oh, that would have been it too. A lot of spots. Nice. That was great. Yeah, he ain't getting past that. Wow, what a grab. Okay, how are you getting up? Tournament winner. Don't know if it was intentional or not. Ooh, sloppy ledge dash. You get punished for that one. Tell me. Oh, you already used your dummy, sorry. Okay, even game. Is he gonna roll? Oh, keep pushing him off, that's fine. Do that all day. Oh, this is great, good sequence. What, what, what an air dodge. Was that intentional? What? It's crazy. If you got more range on that wave dash, you actually would have punished that. a little bit a little bit more well actually no it was just um you missed your dash grab you would have got that oh <laughs> yeah there you go huh what was that cape oh you're trying to get his double jump that's dangerous just because how floaty luigi is even if you were to cape him he would still be boosted up in the same direction, but he'd be turned around, and then he's probably going to do an instant aerial, and it'll probably hit you. That's the only reason I say that's dangerous. If he's falling in you cape, like he's trying to grab ledge, okay. 
but it's still it's still a little risky because see how floaty he is. That's the thing. I get I go I get what you were trying to go for there, but you gotta be careful with that. Nice. Oh, he baited it though. Right there, that wasn't a true punish. It's quick, it's fast, but you can see yourself going into tumble. So this is all combo, um, or not combo, hit stun. And when your character starts falling down like that, it's a certain fall. You you could have uh, double jumped. You could have up B'd too. Yeah, obviously it's risky to up B, but if you have no other option and... Um, up B does have invincibility, so you could do that. That is an option. But you gotta make sure to get those, uh, the timing's tough. It is tough. Because it's very close to being a combo most of the time. That's why Luigi's really good in this match. <laughs> he tries to go for a read. Probably misfire. Ooh. Ouch. How did that hit? That looked so far away. Oh, you threw something out. That's why. What'd you do there? Whatever it is, okay. That's why you got hit. Nice. Good, good, good. Nice, that should be it. Okay, good cleanup. I like that you did that. Um, after you killed him, you did something simple. You just double jumped. Thank you for not just ledge dashing, ledge dashing mindlessly in SD, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I've seen so many SDs because people are trying to ledge dash back on. Like, I get it. If you're trying to fill yourself and you need that confidence boost, okay. But sometimes you got to just take it easy, man. Most of the time. Yeah, sometimes I'll just double jump from ledge or down air and then, you know, double jump on stage or something. <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, SD when I'm up a stock. So right here, this is the time you're up a stock. You know, he can kill you with basically any attack now. Maybe you can survive this forward air. Maybe even one down air. Maybe. With perfect DI and, like, very situational stage, like, positioning. But right here, you're at 121. What you should be doing, like, to take advantage of your lead, even if you don't like to. You know, you have to see the big picture. If you're trying to play this game competitively and you're trying to get better, you have to... You know, you have to abuse your lead. There's two ways you can do it. You can abuse your lead by making him come to you. You shoot fireballs, you know, like full hot fireballs on the right side, making him come to you. Because all he has is wave dash in. If you can shut that down with some fireballs, you know, he can still come in with like forward tilt or down B to negate the fireballs. But he's going to have to work for it. And while he's doing that, he's going to get hit by a couple. He's going to get, you know, 16 damage or whatever, you know, get hit by, like, three fireballs or something. Well, oh, a fireball does six. Uh, Doc's capsule does eight. So, you know, I don't know, 18% maybe get three fireballs on him. And um, just chip away at him. Because this is, like I said, this is all a neutral game. Um... You're going to get trades, and at this point, you cannot trade. If you trade, most likely you're going to die, especially if you're not ready with the DI. So there's two things you can do. You can play it safe, make him come to you, abuse the lead, and make it very difficult for him to come through. Make it so obvious that his approach, he's going to have to come to. He can't wait any longer because he's losing. And you need to have that mindset. Like, I will stay here. I will make you come to me for 4 minutes and 51 seconds if it has to be. Because if you're going to be a competitor, you have to think like that. You should not think, oh, this is too lame. I can't do anything about it. Like, then you're not trying to win. You're just complaining at that point. But you should see it in both ways. If you get camped just like you're camping someone else, respect it. Because you you know you would, um, you know, he's just trying to win. And you're trying to do your best to win as well. But they just have different terms. I'm just saying that's the first option. The second option, since you have a lead, it's not that much. But you can start making hard reads. You can start back airing him at 0% while he's at 0. And then wait for him to down smash. And then you fare right after that. And then you get big damage, you know, like 60, 70%. 70%. 
And then after that, let's say he trades with you. Now he's at 80, 82%. And then um, you're back with a fresh stock. You know, 82%, that's a big deficit. Because now you're at 0%. You got CC um, damage. Or you got CC power because you're at 0. So even if he does crouch cancel um, down smash it. But you're at 0, you're crouch canceling back and down smashing. And he's probably going to die at that point. Or you're going to you're going to hit him off stage at least and then it turns into edge guard opportunity and whatnot but let's see what happens oh this is so scary i like that short hop back here that's the <laughs> that's the chew dad versus ben special he was just spamming that because it, it's a good move i mean i never really thought of it that simple but guy's a neutral master so i i can see it so this was good four tilt immediately that was great look at that double but see, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. He's gonna hit you with this smash attack. 35%. Okay, racking up quickly. Could you have punished that double, the first double uh, aerial right there? No, you, you got hit by the first one, so yeah, you can punish that. Alright, see, with, with that CC, you should have threw something. You might as well have. Oh, you, you missed a... L cancel, that's what that was. That wasn't a CC intentionally. Ooh, that's scary. Good fast fall. See right there, that would have been perfect to punish that. It's better to get the grab, but you're you that's just a gamble. Because you you just got lucky with the shield grab right there. Right here? Bam. That's a jump out of shield um up air. You could have jumped past him and back air too. Like um you know um jump forward momentum back air so he you know he's off stage or close to ledge and you take stage control luckily he just shielded he didn't do anything up it okay rinse repeat back air <gasps> oh that was it barely whiffed that sucks he was aware of it too because if he wasn't, um, how he double jumps, it's straight up. So, like, he was definitely aware of that. If he if he didn't think you were going to do that, he would have double jumped more towards the stage. But he does it straight up. Dang, and he barely grabs ledge. That's, <laughs> that's scary, but that's Luigi's recovery. Okay, good, good. What? Why? A little unnecessary right there, but I get it. You're trying to just hit him a B because, but he delayed it with the jump, so I get it. You didn't want to get clipped or something. It was a close cape too, actually. Just they both just barely missed, and this is where it gets scary because now, oh, you're at basically kill percent. You got one more attack, and then if he hits you with a strong attack, you're dead. Okay, now you're at kill percent. Both of you. No! And the classic. <laughs> it happens. Alright, so... The biggest things I saw was, like, um... You want to get, um... Your hit confirms. So you want to make sure that they're combos and not... You know... Reads and whatnot. You don't... If you can get the guaranteed percent, get that. If you CC, commit to it and do a down smash. Or fake commit to it, CC on purpose so he knows you're CCing, and then turn it into a mix-up. But um, at low percents, yeah, you should be holding down. Like, you're a Mario brother. Most of the time, you should be holding down. Unless your opponent has showed you that he has some kind of counter tech to that. Like, he, he's waiting for you to CC, and then he, like, you know, does something as a read or something. If he's not, just CC down smash all day. You know, there's there's no reason not to. You want to get percent in this matchup. And really, um, what what shines um, more about Mario than Luigi in this matchup is your recovery. Your recovery is a lot better than Luigi's. Um, his is very predictable. I mean, the only mix-up he really has is down B. And they don't really do that um, that close to the stage anyways. 
you know, maybe they'll do it all the way at the bottom, but it depends on, you know, what character they're playing. They're not going to do it against a fox because they'll get shine spiked. But against Mario, they probably would. So you just have to keep that in mind. But I didn't see you get coin spiked at all, so that's that's good. I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think that was a problem. But hit confirms um, getting your kills. That's very important too. So you need to do that as well. And um, let me see what else. Oh, your recovery. You did a couple of ambitious recoveries. I mean, whatever. I, I can't really write off too much. But you did do it twice. And it didn't work the first time. And the backers were really bad. So make sure, you know, to turn yourself around rather than going for a risky back air like that. Because, yeah, that's that's a little scary. And then also Luigi follow-ups. If he down throws you, make sure DI behind him and um, find that timing to jump out of his combo. Sometimes it's too strict, especially if it's online, you know what I mean? So I get it, but those should be, you know, ingrained into you because I know you played this matchup a lot. Um, and yeah, setting up for kills. Um, you know, really think about, you know, damage versus um, positioning. As in, like, knocking him off stage or giving him big damage. Like, what's better for you? What are you more comfortable with? Should be um, comfortable with both, but, you know, see what, what your opponent's good at. Like, are they good? Are they really good at recovering? If they're weaker in recovering than playing neutral on stage, then take them off stage every time. You know, if they're, if they're better at... Um, at recovering but they're not that great at neutral on stage and then go for damage and just um you know weather the storm kind of thing but i mean there were some good highlights too you got some decent conversions it's just some of them you were just a little slow on and you gotta um work on that for sure oh yeah and um luigi double aerials make sure to if you were to shield the first one Remember, you can punish the second one. Just make sure you don't put yourself in a bad position. But other than that, um, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't. I mean, both matches were pretty close. The uh, first one, you were kind of bringing it back, but he he got your recovery. Like in, I think, three, uh, three of those stocks, he got your recovery. Actually, most of the stocks, you died off the side. So that, that does say a lot. Um, either he's really good at edge guarding. Or, you know, you're weak at recovering, or maybe a little bit of both, or you just guessed wrong. So make sure to check, like, how you're uh, losing stocks, too. I like doing that, just to see, oh, man, my recovery is weak, or, you know, something like that. But, yeah, that's all I got for you. I mean, those, not bad matches at all. So just work on those, work on your combo game, make sure Luigi's at a combo comboable percentage before you start doing stuff because he'll just narrow out of everything so it, it's scary he's a soft counter to mario that's for sure okay well that's all i got man hopefully that helped out peace